and free your mind. This is the soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. September 29th, 2021. This is the last show of the month, which means somebody is getting some stickers at the end of this. Whoever has tipped the most, whoever has thrown out the most gift subscriptions, and whoever has thrown the most bits my way. We also have a whole hour of new music, but it looks like you guys have already, well, yeah, in, in the time it took to the intro to happen. All aboard the hype train. So... Uh, I don't know if Zero Key Wolf is in the chat room yet, so we're going to start with a different engine shot than usual. I have a couple brand new Sockies, courtesy of Zero Key Wolf. However, we're going to start this sucker out right, not with the cheap stuff. Let's, uh, let's start out with what Origami sent my way. A little bit of the, what was this, the Johto Yuzu. Fruity, tart, and sweet. A little bit like myself. Thank you guys so much for hitting that hype train already. How far are we? Jeebus, I just watched it clear another another hurdle. Oh my god, we just beat level 3, so I guess I'm following this with an original track. So first, let me get this toast to you all out of the way, up front and personal. Here's to you, my friends, for sticking with me. Even though I was gone for a full week, tooling around Washington State on two wheels with two of my favorite humans. I am very, very happy to be back in the studio with you for another progressive birdhouse. Holy cow, we're making our way through level four. I'm going to shut up and let departure, deep archer, take it away. Cheers, my friends. That is tangy as hell. Thank you, Origami, for that. Avian Invasion. My goodness, in the space of the very first song, we've already hit it. Hype Train, level five. All right. Well, whether or not Zero Key Wolf is actually in the chat room, let's do that caboose shot right now, shall we? 
she was kind enough to send... Oop, that was the wrong button. She was kind enough to send not one, but two American-made sakis from the Rhino District in Colorado. The one we've lovingly been referring to as the toilet sake is going to be up first, because as you can see, they've called it, unironically, American Standard. So, for the very first time on this show, a Colorado sake, courtesy of Zero Key Wolf. That hype train is still going, by the way. We passed level five. We're 130% through it, it looks like. Oh, that's only a touch cloudy. Oh, well, that may have been residue from the previous sake. I probably should have, used, should have used a clean glass. Goodness. Alrighty, so my very first taste. So here's to you, my friends, for helping me explore this whole new world of uh, Japanese-style liquors. I say Japanese-style because, you know, obviously this one is imported all the way from Colorado. And thank you for helping me explore progressive house and trance week after week after week. These hype trains pay for the whole new music hour every single show, both for this and the early bird breakfast. And so here you are, my friends. Thank you once again. I hope your journey is as pleasant as mine. Down the hatch. Okay. We've been calling it the Toilet Saki because of the name, but... That was rather fantastic. And thank you to our Chaos Crew leader, Zero Key Wolf, for sending that my way. Very, very much appreciated. That hype train is still rolling. But of course, you guys wanted an original track. Otherwise, you wouldn't have broken through level three on that hype train so damn quickly. So, with about a minute left, Here's a little something that I ran through very quickly. I produced this song in one day, hence the title, Speed Run. An Avian Invasion Original.
So a humongous thank you to all those of you who made that level five hype train within the span of a single song, I might add, the very first song of this show. Thank you very, very much to uh, Rock Pup for subscribing and helping to kick that off. Uh, Eagle Beagle as well for resubscribing. AJ the Ratty, not just for throwing in $50 into the tip jar so that maybe I can actually afford to go to BLFC and put on a show for y'all in Reno, but also for resubscribing and for mere depth for tossing out a whole lot of gift subscriptions. Uh, at least five or ten of them. Yeah, a whole lot of them, actually. Uh, to call a macro wolf for resubscribing as well. And uh, Kiwa Brapchi for signing up once again. And all those of you that threw bits at me throughout all of that, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Let's see now how far we can go. And thank you very much, AJ, for complimenting me on that track. Like I said, that was Speedrun, something I produced in one day just to see if I could. A lot of y'all seem to like that one as well. I'm not sure. But in any case, moving on with somebody else's tunes. Here's something a little bit naughty from Annie. The Avian Invasion welcomes you.
Uh, looks like Kiwa Brapchi has beaten everybody to the punch and has redeemed that random shot. If you're not familiar with the Seeds of Awesomeness, head to avianinvasion.com slash live. Check out those little eggs down at the bottom. They don't cost you a single cent, and you can use them to program the bird to do all kinds of things, including once per show. An avian invasion original. That was not what I wanted to hit. There we go. Once per show, calling out a random shot. In this case, well, we're going to polish off my first experience in the the brand new world of sake, the Tosai, imported directly from Costco. This will probably kill, uh, maybe, maybe not. It might kill this bottle, I'm not sure. But in any case, if you're feeling a little down, you don't exactly have all that fancy Twitch money to throw at me, that is absolutely fine. You don't need to spend a cent to have fun around here. And so since Kiwa Brapchi in the chat room called this one up, here's to you. And here's to two wheels. I wish you could have joined us, but 1,200 miles around Washington State and the Idaho Panhandle on your sport bike would probably have wrecked you. It was actually kind of tough for us, in fact. By the time I got back from this week-long glorious vacation, my shoulders were really tense, and I decided I need to work out more. And so I started a workout routine on Monday. And now all of me is broken. So thank you for helping make it a little bit easier with this toast. Cheers to you, my friends. Oh, that is berry and delicious. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for that extra shot there. It looks like we have some requests for guitar and an original track. Well, I've already got something queued up here. Something from the duels. The duals? The duops. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's inside me.
We have the trifecta. Some of you have spent those seeds of awesomeness. In fact, it was in concert with all three of you. A request for an avian invasion remix. Well, kind of an original kind of a cover. And of course, very kind of you, Kiwa, for throwing 1337 into the tip jar. How fantastic. I very much appreciate it. But you also requested the invasion has chosen Kitar. So it looks like we're busting out all the stops. And as a matter of fact, somebody requested singing as well. A three-part strike by AJ the Ratty, Bloody Magus, and Griffin07 in the chat's room. Thank you guys very much for spending those seeds to get something well, a little different this time around. So here's a little something from the Johns for you. No, that's not another American standard joke. This is Birdhouse in Your Soul from They Might Be Giants. I'm not your only friend, but I'm a little glowing friend But really, I'm not actually your friend, but I am You can hear any other by the light switch Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul Not to put too fine a point on it Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet Make a little birdhouse in your soul I have a secret to tell from my electrical well It's a simple message and I'm leaving out the whistles and bells So the room must listen to me, filibuster vigilantly My name is Blue Canary, one note spelled L-I-T-E my story's infinite, like the Longine Symphony, it doesn't rest. Blue Canary in the alley by the light switch, who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul, not to put too fine a point on it, saying the only be in your bonnet. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. the bird 
house in your soul Not to put too fine a point on it Saying the only bee in your bonnet Make a little birdhouse in your soul While you're at it Keep the nightlight on inside the birdhouse in your soul Not to put too fine a point on it Saying the only bee in your bonnet Make a little birdhouse in your soul While you're at it Keep the nightlight on inside the birdhouse in your soul Make a little birdhouse in your soul Thank you to those of you who have apparently waged war on my tip jar in order to get me to more shows this year. I very much appreciate that. Kiwa, of course, starting out with that leet donation of $13.37, followed by Rock Puff with $25 and Derpwin with another $25. And Fuzzy Derg spent those seeds of awesomeness for a shout out, but it seems to be a facial expression I can't make because I have a beak. I'm not exactly sure how to redeem this one, so I'm going to give you those seeds back. And while I kick it over to Gabriel and Dresden. We'll see what we can come up with next. The Avian Invasion welcomes you.
thank you, of course, to Fuzzy Derg in the chat room who tossed in not one, but two tips of the elite nature for 1337. Thank you very much for that. Plane tickets are expensive. Hotels are expensive. And every little bit you throw in helps get me on tour and even keep me there. Here's a little Miss Monique for you. who not only threw in a bunch of subscriptions during that hype train early, early, early on in the show, right at the top of the hour, in fact, while the intro was still playing. But thank you to Glide Path for subscribing. And thank you to Mere Death again for tossing in another 1337 into the tip jar, helping to keep me on tour. Much appreciate. And hopefully I'll see you in Reno. If not... Hopefully I'll see you in Chicago. If not, you know what? I'm just going to book some show somewhere between the two. 
we'll figure it out. But it's time for a little Torsten Fassbender. A remix of a Shane Blackshaw piece. This is TP. to Dr. Rezzy Fings for subscribing. The Avian Invasion welcomes you.
A big thank you to Lexicality for resubscribing once again. Glad to keep you on board. We are a mere mm, 10 to 12 minutes away from the top of the hour, which means all new music coming at you. Since we have gotten rid of the regularly occurring Monday shows, it's important, of course, to note that the Progressive Birdhouse now encompasses both Progressive House and Trance and all of the associated genres around the periphery. You know, like Melodic House and Techno, that sort of thing. Which means the new music hour is going to be, well, half progressive, half progressive trance. Uh, pretty much all progressive, I guess, in that case. But we still got a bit before that happens. So here's some shit you've heard before. Very good shit, I might add. Gabriel and Dresden with Subteal. And all I've got. Avian Invasion. about you, that rainbow's coming right up.
looks like once again we have the trifecta. Those of you that spent those seeds of awesomeness down at the bottom of avianinvasion.com slash live. Lexicality requested some singing. Madam Shaycat, well, the invasion has chosen Keytar. And to top it all off, we've got a request by Derplin HK for an avian invasion original. All right, let's do this.
thank you once again to those of you who were spending those seeds of awesomeness. Which again, don't cost you anything. All you have to do is stick around here in the chat room and, uh, well, keep me company, keep the invasion company, and talk to each other. How hard is that, really? I know some days it's harder than others, but in any case, it is time to launch into the new music hour. That's right, it's 4 o'clock here in the Emerald City. And I've got you know, 10 new tracks queued up. It's been a while. Hopefully they're, they're hopefully they're good. Hopefully I still know what I'm doing. Even after shaking my body loose on a parallel twin across Washington State. <laughs> And of course, as Zero Key Wolf has said via a shout out here, and cause chaos. <laughs> Here's a little something brand new from Garden State. It's the best part.
seems to be some misguided chat going on in the chat room right now as to whether I should do a tour with Hurdy Gurdy instead of Keytar. No, never. It's dangerous. I mean, literally, by definition, the Hurdy Gurdy is sawing through the strings of its own instrument. Oh, there's a reason they stopped using those things. In any case, uh, who is it? Uh, hey, hey, HC said Gretchen would be so proud that Fetch is happening. And boy, is Fetch happening. As a matter of fact, this Saturday, I'm going to be on the Hayu. Myself and nine other DJs will be playing a little cruise on Lake Union. Same boat that Eleven played several months ago. And we sold it out in two hours. Two hours. Good Lord. It's a decommissioned Washington State ferry boat turned into a party boat. I'm very much looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to this. A new track from Oliver Smith. Be Alone.
first artists I encountered when I discovered dance music, or I should say, dance music discovered me, was Guy J. And when I found out he remixed something from Marsh, how could I not? But now, it seems we are on, once again, right here, in the middle of the new music block. All aboard the hype train. Alrighty, looks like we're doing those hockeys again. Since Zero wasn't here for the first train, I'll queue up that uh, that toilet sake once again. But if you want to see how this fancy... Oh, uh, where'd it go? Lychee Nigori tastes. Well, gonna have to make it past level five for that one. Looks like you guys are already almost done with level one. So I'm gonna shut up, let Guy J do his thing and get that engine shot in me. Thank you guys so much for starting another one, by the way. Here we go. Once again, we bust out the bottle of lube. I'm sorry, I mean sake. I mean, you tell me. Now, because this is rather fine, I'm not gonna shoot it this time. I will sip like a gentle bird. It looks like the Corgi army is in full effect, as is always the case, well, for those of you who are new here. If we make it past level three on this hype train, I will queue up an original track. And if we make it past level five, well, that caboose shot awaits. Oh, and thank you, Derpwin, for tossing out 10 community subscriptions. That may have kicked us over to level five already. In the meantime, here's to the American standard. Fine, fine American sake from the Rhino District of Colorado. Didn't see any rhinos last time I was in Denver, but, well, maybe next time. Cheers to you. Oh, that is fine, especially while chilled. And yes, we did indeed bust past level three already. So even though we're in the new music hour, I will find something original to tickle your ears with after this track is concluded. Cheers to you, my friends. Looks like we just cleared level four. One more level to go. And we'll see how that lychee tastes. I'm a little curious.
and there she blows, folks. Hype Train Level 5. All righty. It looks like Derplin HK pushed us over the edge there, but there's still three and a half minutes left on this Hype Train before I queue up that caboose shot. Nah, let's get that out of the way first, shall we? I think that's more important because this is new. This is exciting. This is fun. From Colorado Saki Company, this is their Lychee Nagori. Never tried this one before. I used to hate the taste of lychee nut as a kid, and I grew to love it once my, my beak developed a better palate. So let's try this one. This is one of their unfiltered sakis. As Zero informed me, the American standard is the base from which they make all of their other sakis. Which is why we started with that one. Ooh, look how that shines under these lights here. <laughs> that is excellent. In any case, this is something new. And I can't thank you enough for taking part in this little experiment, by the way. I'm normally not a sake drinker, but this is opening my mind to new horizons of flavors. It's rather interesting. It's also a little easier on the old bird liver. And the last thing we want is robotic foie gras. So, here's to you, Zero, for sending these to me and to the rest of you for chipping in enough to, well, make me take the shot. Once again, I will sip this because this is fine. I'm not just going to pound this one down. We still got a little less than two minutes on this hype train. But here's my first taste of the lychee. Oh, wow. I was going to say that will be like a dessert, but it's actually rather dry. It's kind of nice. And thank you so much. If you're interested in showing off some sakis on the show here, I will certainly not complain. If you want to know my mailing address, well, get on the mailing list at avianinvasion.com slash join. The mailing address is printed down at the bottom of every single one of those emails. In the meantime, it looks like we did, in fact, bust past level three because we busted past level five. So... Here's a little something I wrote quite a long time ago, actually. This is from my debut EP. This is They Looked Up. It was a time of great strife. The people turned against one another, their faces covered in shadows, so that all they could see in their brothers and sisters around them was darkness. It was a time of great strife. The people turned against one another, their faces covered in shadows, so that all they could see in their brothers and sisters around them was darkness.
from my debut EP, Children of the Stars. The opening track, in fact. Alpha Wolfio in the chat is asking, why does that part of the story make me think of the Berlin Wall takedown in 89? Actually, I thought it was like 91 or 92, but anyway, no matter what, on our little motorcycle journey, we got to see a piece of the Berlin Wall. As somebody who lives on the shores of Lake Ponderé in the panhandle of Idaho, they have a large chunk, and I mean like three feet wide and as tall as the wall itself, an actual section of the wall on display by their lake house. We got some photos in front of it. Follow me at avianinvasion.com slash Instagram, and I'll probably end up posting some of these. In the meantime, here's something kind of new, kind of not. A little garden state was surreal.
thank you very much once again, Dr. Rezzy Fings, for tipping a few bucks. Trying to take down Silent Dawn Tiger off of that uh, bit boss status, I see. And helping me get to BLFC or whatever con actually books me next. a little over a half hour remaining in this show, I should remind you, this is the last show for September, which means those of you at the top of the list here on the leaderboard for tipping, throwing in bits, or passing out gift subscriptions, actually pay no attention to that list, I'm going to have to do that math later, but those of you that are the top tippers, cheerleaders, or gift subscribers, subscribe, subscription gifters, I'll work on that later. In any case, those of you at the top of the list, you get stickers. Actual, factual stickers mailed out from me to you. As a little thank you for your participation week after week after week. we 
Gummy Griffin because you are a little bit late. You made it to the party after all, and you can always relive the fun later. Right after this show is done, it's always posted at avianinvasion.com slash mixcloud. And the set list goes up at avianinvasion.com slash Spotify. And if you want to watch it again, all of these videos live at avianinvasion.com, you guessed it, slash YouTube. So let's kick it over to Sunny Lax for a bit, shall we?
all the stuff that you have thrown at me. It is time. Oh, it didn't let me post that for some reason. It just says content did not, does not meet guidelines, and I'm not entirely sure why. You should be able to vote now because of all your generosity and your participation and the fact that I'm still trying to recover from how much I was drinking while on vacation. You got to back the liver down slowly. You don't just cut the throttle immediately. You might, you know, auger the bike in. Anyway, here's a short five minute poll for a third, sorry, not a third, a second random shot. You get to pick. In the meantime, we're going to toss it over to Mayor Levy with Creator. More new music right here in the Progressive Birdhouse. AvianInvasion.com
let me post that poll earlier. I was just posting the names of the various Sakis, and it was okay with American Standard. It was okay with Lychee. But for some reason, either Joto Yuzu or Tozai are somehow dirty words, according to Twitch. I mean, it's okay to do hate raids, I guess, but, you know, how dare you name sake flavors? In any case, there's only a little bit of time left on that poll, and it looks like uh, Bird's Choice is leading with the Lemony Joto Yusu, a close second. And there it goes. It ended up at Bird's Choice with 56%. Lemons, of course, got the uh, the number two vote, and that is what I am going with. Since Origami sent me that one and missed out on all that hype train action. So here's a little garden state for you while I queue up that last shot of the show. Thank you guys once again. If you want to help introduce me to some new sakis, join the mailing list at avianinvasion.com slash join. There's a mailing address down at the bottom. And I will happily try whatever you send me, as long as it's not Malort. Because that's not a sake. No matter what Timbin might try to tell you. This is Avian Invasion. of birds and you tiny bird friends cheers once again and thank you so much for all the generous tips what a way to come back from vacation
perennial favorite of the show, J Tech with Viridian. AvianInvasion.com Well, frankly, I've got a rather huge tempo gap to jump between that last song and the uh, the next new track. So here's a little something from Elon Bluestone with Ellen Smith. Stranger to your love. Also, Dr. Rezzy Fings is asking who we're rating after this. Well, we're not rating anybody yet. We still got a couple of songs to go. But if you have any suggestions, you can either spend those seeds of awesomeness and call it out outright, 
or leave me some suggestions in the chat room at avianinvasion.com slash live. like to call a macro wolf in the chat room spent those seeds of awesomeness and we're heading over to dj hawk after this just to keep the furry migration vibes rolling i guess from Scala, Shala, S-C-H-A-L-A, Scala, uh, you got me on that one, but it is called Space, properly pronounced in the Tim Curry fashion, of course, if you're not sure what I'm looking at, uh, what, what, what I'm looking at, what I'm talking about, I don't know, look up your old memes.
close out the last progressive birdhouse of September 2021. Thank you, Eagle Beagle, for calling out some cyan colors here. In fact, I'm going to get it back on a view of the, the actual studio so you can enjoy this for like the three or four seconds before I have to close it out and give you the giant robot voice once again. Before I do that, a huge thank you, by the way, to a Rock Pup who tossed in 25 more dollars to the touring fund. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am not backed by any kind of major label or have any management or sponsorships or anything. You are the only reason I'm able to do what I am doing week after week. So again, thank you to Rock Pup, Origami Griffin, AJ the Ratty, Dr. Rezzy Fings, Derpwin. Hell, the, uh, I could spend another hour just thanking all of those of you who've been throwing things at me. But now we have to head over to DJ Hawk once again. And I'll see you Friday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time for a much uh, lower energy, much more beautiful, much more sedate session called the Early Bird Breakfast. Join me, if you will, at avianinvasion.com slash live. Thank you for listening. This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone. I'll see you Friday morning. Say hi to DJ Hawk for me.